So in Japanese, there will be three words which are used to signify the distance from the speaker. Namely, ko so a. These are the prefixes. I would be adding something else to make this as words. So, the first word here is going to be kore. This, sore, are. So, we are starting with the re series in the koso ado discussion. Kore. Remember one point. Whatever we are going to discuss as distance, the distance mapping should start from the speaker's viewpoint. Anything that is near the speaker would be referred to as kore. Anything that is distant from the speaker, in English there is only one word, that. But in Japanese there are two words. How there are two for the same thing, you may wonder. Whenever you're speaking and you want to refer to something, there are two people in conversation. One is the speaker and the other person is the listener. So what did I tell Kore is? Kore is anything near the speaker. Anything which is near the listener would be referred to as Sore. And a thing which is far away from both the speaker and the listener would be referred to as array. This we will come to it afterwards. Let's first gain control on these three words. So can we again repeat it? Kore. Kore means anything that is near the speaker. Sore. Anything that is near the listener. And array. Something that is far away from both speaker and listener would be referred to as array. Last, dore. This is an interrogative word, which means it is a question word. If you have to ask which one, which, then the word is dore. 